Coach's Corner has been presented by Life Skills, the presenting sponsor of the 2016 WKU football season, by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics, by Pizza Hut, proud to support WKU Athletics, by UPS, delivered by UPS. More information at ups.com backslash solvers, by Kentucky Legend Hams, one legend folks can rely on. By Taco Bell, now serving breakfast starting at 7. And by Passport Health Plan, proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Welcome to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, it wasn't pretty, but it was a great win, 31-24 over Miami of Ohio. Well, we're happy to come out with the win. Uh, it was one of those games that didn't go quite the way we had planned, but you know, that's going to happen. I like the way that our team battled and continued to fight and uh, hung in there. And uh, even things, even when things weren't going exactly the way we liked, I thought our guys were competing and trying hard. And just a few things we got to work through on offense, definitely need to execute better. But our defense has really stepped up to the challenge and our special team has really excelled in this football game. Especially talking about defense, uh, whose name sticks out is Keith Brown. Had a great game at 12 tackles and one sack. Well, it was good to see Keith uh, be productive for us. He definitely uh, is a guy that has a lot of experience. He's got talent. He's got to be a playmaker for us. We want him to be instinctive over there. I think that our front four definitely helped him uh, create some avenues to make tackles. But he was there. He was solid. He played a lot during the game. And he did a very good job for us. And you talked about the defense. They came out very aggressive and made plays. Well, they played hard, and I think that uh, Coach Holt and our defensive staff have done a very good job of getting those guys ready to play. I think that we have talent on that side of the ball. We can rotate guys in there. We have some depth. Uh, they all want to get in there and perform. Uh, so really had a lot of good stops, uh, limited them to a lot of uh, three and outs and uh, short drives, and we were able to get the ball back in good field position. Uh, and then we wore out a little bit towards the end, but really I thought we played solid on defense. And you know what, uh, you talked about the rain. Did that have a big toll on the game? Well, you know what, uh, sometimes you hope that it doesn't, but unfortunately it probably did a little bit in our passing game. I think it affected Mike White a little bit at quarterback. Uh, but those are things you have to fight through. In the second half, it started to calm down a little bit. Um, you know, really execution, a few small things here and there on offense is kind of what hindered us. But uh, I think our guys will compete and work hard this week and, and look forward to getting back on the field. Okay, Coach, we're going to take a quick timeout and we'll be back to you after these messages. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community no matter where life takes you whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country talk better text better play better and share better here there and everywhere bluegrass cellular your community expanded sophie his 13th birthday gift we've got you Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for Passport. And I was like, mom. She was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind. So I did. Now my mom, she can chill. And I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Western Kentucky students, parents, alumni, and fans, we have the exclusive WKU debit card available for you. Open a regular checking account with South Central Bank and ask for one today. We are South Central Bank, small enough to know you, WKU fans. And big enough to help. We now offer e-statements, mobile banking, and remember the official debit card of WKU Athletics. Get yours today at any South Central Bank location. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey Big Red, thanks for coming to my IGA tailgate. I always wanted to know what it was like to tailgate on the hill and this is the only time I could do it. 
Our fans sure are lucky that they get to tailgate and compete in the IGA Tailgater of the Game promotion. I wish I could win because you know how much I like to win, but someone has to coach. So Hilltopper fans, I challenge you to become the IGA Tailgater of the Game. And be sure to get all your tailgating essentials at your local IGA, the official grocer of WKU Athletics. Go Tops! Life Skills has been serving the South Central Kentucky area for over 50 years. We know that when it comes to your health, experience matters. With a location in your community, we are there for you and your family in times of need. We provide you with greater choice and easy access to mental health care, addiction treatment services, and assistance for those with intellectual disabilities. Life Skills, premium health care services. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, you mentioned earlier the special teams are really special in this game. Well, I uh, was very happy with our production on special teams. Uh, I think Coach Levine has uh, really brought some enthusiasm and some creativity to our special teams. I think that uh, we have some good returners. Uh, in Macarius Fant, Colin Tanner, we've got a lot of guys on special teams that play hard and do a great job for us, and they know their role. Uh, I think we got some good athletes to fit uh, those positions, but really did uh, some good things, had some huge uh, punt returns, kickoff returns, a couple tricks, uh, put us in great field position, which is what you want, uh, and those, those things really make a difference in order, whether you win or lose, and I think in this game it was definitely the difference maker. And coaches, your special teams is, is definitely a special unit because you guys take a lot of, put a lot of emphasis on it. Well, we do. We work hard at it. We have plenty of walkthroughs. Uh, we practice it a lot throughout the week. Uh, every segment we go over, and I think every segment came through for us. And, um, you know, when you're able to uh, put your offense in a good position uh, with the ball, when you're able to punt the football and back their offense up as good as uh, Jake Collins and the punt team has done, uh, it really helps uh, a lot of problems. And I think that if we can continue to excel in that area, it's going to give us a chance every game. And uh, but just really been proud of the effort uh, that we've given on special teams, and it's really uh, been a huge factor in our wins. And offensively, I mean, the running game came around with Quentin Baker being a freshman, coming in and stepping in when Furby and Ace Wells is out. Well, we uh, love the potential Quentin has. He uh, really competes hard. Uh, he practices hard. He wants to do well. He's a little green in certain areas, but he's got a lot of talent. Uh, he's got the want to. He made some good runs in this game. Um, you know, the ball hit the ground a few too many times, but in general, he does uh, a great job of doing the very best he can. He's out there, he's competing, he's coachable, uh, and he did a very good job for us. Uh, Nicholas Norris had a great game, especially catching the ball. He caught 11 catches for 170, uh, 187 yards with one touchdown. Made a lot of big plays for us. Uh, you know, Nick Norris is a guy that uh, competes, he wants the football. Uh, we were able to target him a lot in this game, and he was able to get open on some uh, some big conversions for us and, and some big plays up the field. You know, I think him and Taewon have to be the strength of our offense every receiver position, but we've got to get everyone involved. But I think Nick really stood out in this game and made a lot of big plays for us. And you're talking about earlier, uh, Taewon Taylor had a good game too, came in and made some important catches. Well, he did a good job. He made the huge touchdown catch at the end of the game that kind of pulled us away at the end, uh, got open one-on-one. -on -one. I think we weren't able to give him the ball as much as we'd like. He ran a good job on the reverse, uh, the jet sweep that he ran with him. Uh, took a good shot you know, in the middle of the game that knocked him out for a little bit, but he came back and uh, showed his toughness and showed his grit. Uh, and that's one thing we, we always get out of him is he, he gives it his all and he's a worker, workaholic and he really wants to win. And defensively, Coach Holt and the program you guys got going on really keeping us in the, in the ball games. Well, we felt good about it uh, for a while. I think that uh, definitely Coach Holt and our staff have done a very good job. I think our talent uh, is very, uh, has really stepped up on defense. We have depth, we have size, we have some guys that can uh, push the pocket. We have some linebackers with some size that can make tackles. And we've got a secondary that has a lot of experience and you know, we're able to rotate guys in. So we've got to continue to improve. I think we, we, we've given up a few too many big pass plays, uh, unfortunately. But other than that, uh, we do a good job against the run. Uh, we, we try to take away what the offense does, and I really like the mentality that our defense has displayed for three games. Defense is doing well, but you know how critical the turnover battle, even though we lost that, we ended up winning the game. Uh, we had three, and they had two. Well, that's something we got to work on. We've been very good at that over the year, is, is not turning the ball over. I know uh, uh, 
if you can win that battle, you have a better chance of winning the game. And we were able to overcome the three turnovers, which is what you don't want to see. The ball was on the ground a few other times as well. So we work hard at it. Uh, we've got to continue to emphasize it, probably do even more of it if we can. But you know, ball security has got to be vital for our offense, and we can't give the uh, other team up more opportunities to score. And Coach, have you ever been in a game, especially with so many penalties, it seemed like that game lasted forever. Nine penalties for 126 yards. There were a lot of penalties. You know, going into the game, we were one of the least penalized teams in the country, so I was a little baffled by it. But, you know, it is what it is. We've got to clean things up. We've got to make sure we're doing things the right way. We've got to be fundamentally sound. But penalties did hurt us, and uh, that's something that, uh, you know, you got to concentrate on. You've got to try to do things the right way. You've got to not put your offense or defense in a bad position. But we've got to make sure we clear, uh, clean that up. And, Coach, I noticed, too, especially on defense, you had a lot of kids rotating in and out of the game. Well, I think a lot of guys have got experience for us and they've stepped up and made plays. And, uh, you know, if one guy gets tired, I think he understands that we can put somebody else in for him, dispel him for a while, and there's not a big drop off. But I think because of that, a lot of guys are into it. Uh, you have more guys wanting to get on the field and be productive. Uh, and when you normally have that, you're going to have a good problem that uh, you want to have as guys that want to play and compete. And, Coach, I noticed even with special teams, you got a lot of starters on there, too. Well, these guys play hard, and our special teams have really played uh, lights out, and uh, as many good guys as we can get out there as we can, but they all do a great job. Okay, Coach, now to the play of the game. Coach, now to one of your plays. Well, this was uh, towards the beginning of the second half, and uh, we got in a bunch formation right here. We motioned our back all the way out to the field on the numbers, kind of uh, really stretched out the defense, and we just kind of create some uh, confusion here by running two guys vertical and we sneak Nick Norris and he ran right down the seam and luckily for us actually two guys popped open but uh, Nick popped wide open the free safety jumped our tight end we threw it to Nick he walked in the end zone really it was a big play for us we needed a spark uh, it's always good when you can create some big plays up the field and short drives but uh, Nick Norris came through big for us good throw by Mike White. Coach when you have the in bunch that kind of confused him there. Well, that they'll give them a little confused, and then definitely when we motioned as well outside of it, then they were a little confused and not for sure exactly what to do. And I think uh, just a slight hesitation allowed Nick to pop open. He was wide open down the middle. It couldn't, couldn't have gotten much more open than that. Did a good job of catching it going in and scoring for us. And Coach, also, too, at the game, both of them were wide open. Well, they actually were. I think they uh, busted their coverage, and uh, Taewon was open on the corner route. Nick was open. They pretty much could have both caught it walked in the end zone, but uh, we kind of just stretched the field vertically there, and we, we got great protection uh, through it deep, and it was a big play for us. Okay, Coach, thanks for the play. We'll be back to you after these messages. This WKU Football Legends feature is being brought to you by Kentucky Legend Ham, one legend folks can rely on. When Jack Harbaugh arrived on the Hill as WKU's new head football coach in 1989, he had no idea that three years later the future of the program would be in limbo. A vote was taken in the spring of 92 to either suspend the football program for at least one year or push forward. With Coach Harbaugh's leadership among other prominent people, football wasn't suspended. Harbaugh issued the famous statement, those who stay will become champions. The football program picked up momentum in the mid-90s, and in Coach Harbaugh's last three seasons, the Toppers made the playoffs and then won the 2002 National Championship with a win over McNeese State. The Hilltoppers were indeed champions. Harbaugh retired as head coach in the offseason, and the football stadium club is now known as the Jack and Jackie Harbaugh Club. This WKU Football Legends feature is brought to you by Kentucky Legend Ham, one legend folks can rely on. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. Hi, I'm Betty Thompson. Did you know that people who are lactose intolerant can eat cheese and not experience any of the usual consequences of eating dairy? It's a good thing, too, since cheese is one of America's favorite foods, by itself or on something else, like pizza, mac and cheese, and tacos. It's versatile and filled with the goodness of dairy. For recipes and more information on healthy dairy products, visit our website. Sup? 
With that box, you'll be the first to win PlayStation VR. Player One. Soon, it spreads like wildfire. Humanity becomes so plugged in, we never see them coming. That's why I was sent back to stop you. Oh, hey, I won. Right. The future of gaming starts at Taco Bell. Grab any $5 box and you can be one of the first to win PlayStation VR. If you hold a Kentucky hunting or fishing license, then you have helped make possible Kentucky's wildlife management areas. Places to hunt, fish, bird watch, or just let your mind wander. With nearly 100 dotting the Commonwealth, put wildlife management areas in your sights for fall hunting and see more of what makes Kentucky's outdoors outstanding. Get all the information online at fw.ky.gov. There's not much Big Red can't do. Here he is auditioning for the fuel goal jump. Wow, what a leg. And it's still going out of the stadium. It looks like Big Red is going to retrieve the ball, but it's rolled across the tracks. And a train is coming. Even Big Red knows to be extra careful when crossing railroad tracks. Always remember to play it safe around railroad tracks. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for passport. And I was like, mom. She was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind. So I did. Now my mom, she can chill and I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, now we've been talking both about the lines. The lines been doing a great job holding up on offensively and then also on defense. Well, those are guys that don't get a lot of credit, but uh, they do all the hard work. And, uh, you know, our defensive line has really played uh, very well. You know, Omar Bryant, Chris Johnson, those two guys anchor down the middle. We rotate some guys in behind them. You've got Derek Overstreet, Nick Dawson, and Tanner Reeves, and Calvin Robinson, and Devontae Duclos. All those guys rotate a defensive end. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, that's some good guys. They add some beef, some strength, some size, and uh, they've done a very good job for us on offense. Uh, those guys are definitely our strength right now. I think uh, when you look at Forrest Lamp, uh, left tackle, and Brandon Ray, and Max Halpin, Darrell Williams, uh, Dennis Edwards, those are our five starters. Those guys have a lot of experience. Uh, they play hard. They give you everything they have. Uh, and they've really been the strength. So we've got to continue to ride them. Uh, they've got to be the leaders of our offense. But uh, the, the offense and defense line have really uh, helped helped us to, to two victories so far this season. And right now the offensive line is holding up, especially they had uh, Quentin Baker was able to carry the ball and do a great job too. Well, they opened up some big holes. Some of those runs that uh, Quentin hit, he did a good job, but there were some big holes that he got to run through. And uh, when your offensive line's coming off the ball and they're striking and they're covering people up uh, and they have the want to and desire to get it done, you're normally uh, gonna do some good things. So it was good to, to get the running game going a little bit and, and uh, Quentin Baker definitely did a good job running behind those guys. In both sides, what you prefer better? I know our offensive line is pretty good. A pass, a pass blocking or a run blocking? Well, we like to be able to do both, but I think, uh, you know, our guys are very good at pass protection and uh, in the run game, um, you know, they do a decent job as well. I think, the, like I said, they're the strength of our team. They, whatever we're wanting to do, they can do it. They can get out on the screens and run and cut people on the perimeter. I uh, really like, you know, doing a lot of different things. And with those guys, uh, you can be more versatile, uh, but they've been playing very well. You have a lot of good guys, but one stuck out a lot is uh, Forrest Lamp, with a lot of experience and very athletic. Well, Forrest has uh, played outstanding. He's athletic. He's tough. Uh, he's been durable. He's a guy that uh, understands schemes. He, he knows how to block people. He knows how to move his feet. He's, he's uh, uh, really got a lot of football knowledge, football savvy that he brings to uh, the table. But uh, he's been the strength. He's been the rock of our offensive line. Uh, he, he comes ready to play. He wants to compete. He wants to do well. And uh, I'm happy that uh, we have him on our team. It's amazing that you have Forrest Lamb with that speed outside blocking. He's pulling. He's hitting corners. He's doing a lot of stuff. Well, he does. He can uh, reach the defensive ends. He can come off the ball and strike. He can get up on linebackers. Uh, we release him out on screens. He'll run. 
Uh, a lot of times def those defenders will try to jump around the non-athletic offensive lineman, but he's athletic, so he cuts him, he gets up on him, he blocks him, does a great job in space, and really just been uh, fantastic for us. Okay, great. Now to the feature with Forrest Lamp. <laughs> Forrest Lamp, I'm from Venice, Florida, and I play left tackle. Uh, well, back in seventh grade, I uh, just felt the need. I wanted to play. All my buddies played. Uh, in Florida, uh, we have something called Pop Warner, and it's by weight limit. So throughout all the elementary school, I was always too heavy. And uh, seventh grade was the first year I could actually play, so I was eager to play. I came to WKU in 2012 uh, when Coach Taggart was here, and I just felt like it was the right fit for me. My favorite moment as a player is probably last year we won the conference championship and all the uh, fans storming the field. That was the uh, best moment of my life. Uh, yeah, some of the personal goals, uh, actually the team goals, we want to win another conference championship and we want to go to another bowl game and win it. Um, it's a blast, but it's not just me, it's my teammates, uh, like I said before. Um, our whole offensive line makes me look a lot better than I am. Our left guard, Brandon Ray, and our uh, center, Max Halpin, uh, they're the ones that make all the calls and do a great job for us. Uh, coach Williams is a great guy. Obviously, we uh, just had him for this year. Uh, coach Calvary was our position coach before this, and uh, unfortunately, he went to USC, but you know, we replaced him. Coach Brown does a great job of our coaching staff, and he replaced him with a great coach, Coach Williams. It's a blast. We love that guy to death, and we do anything for him. Uh, he's a complete player's coach, and we owe it all to him. What stands out to me the most is probably the camaraderie. Uh, guys are just best friends on the team in every position, every, just everybody as a whole. Most excited for to see how we end up. Hopefully, uh, you know, come December 5th or whenever that, whatever Saturday that lands on, we'll be in our conference championship game. Future plans after football, I'm uh, getting a double major in business management and business informatics. Uh, so hopefully open up my own business and become a manager of a large firm. Coach's Corner is being presented by Passport Health Plan. Proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for Passport. And I was like, mom, she was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind, so I did. Now my mom, she can chill, and I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. There's not much Big Red can't do. Here he is auditioning for the fuel gold job. Wow, what a leg. And it's still going out of the stadium. It looks like Big Red is going to retrieve the ball, but it's rolled across the tracks. And a train is coming. Even Big Red knows to be extra careful when crossing railroad tracks. Always remember to play it safe around railroad tracks. Hi, I'm Betty Thompson. Did you know that people who are lactose intolerant can eat cheese and not experience any of the usual consequences of eating dairy? It's a good thing, too, since cheese is one of America's favorite foods, by itself or on something else, like pizza, mac and cheese, and tacos. It's versatile and filled with the goodness of dairy. 
For recipes and more information on healthy dairy products, visit our website. Hey Big Red, thanks for coming to my IGA tailgate. I always wanted to know what it was like to tailgate on the hill and this is the only time I could do it. Our fans sure are lucky that they get to tailgate and compete in the IGA tailgater of the game promotion. I wish I could win because you know how much I like to win, but someone has to coach. So Hilltopper fans, I challenge you to become the IGA tailgater of the game. And be sure to get all your tailgating essentials at your local IGA, the official grocer of WKU Athletics. Go Tops! Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, now this week we have Vandy. You know they have a little bad taste in their mouth after last year. Well, it'll, it'll be a great game, and I know uh, we're looking forward to it. This is something that uh, you circle on the schedule anytime you get a chance to play an SEC opponent, and they're coming into our stadium, so that's what's exciting. You get to play in front of our fans, in front of a great opponent, and uh, this team will pr create some problems for us. Uh, Last year, defensively, uh, they really shut us down, uh, really held our offense to the lowest output uh, of the entire year. And they're very good. They're big up front. They've got big, strong athletic linebackers. They're good in the secondary, and uh, they're, they're well coached. So we're going to have to really find a way to get points, move the ball, do some different things, uh, get them off balance, and it'll be a challenge. And then, uh, of course, their offense, they're going to run the football. They've got a good running back, and uh, we've got to find a way to stop the run. He's going to be the strength of their team, and we've got to take him away, make them do what they're uncomfortable with, which is throwing the football. And uh, It's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a tough physical game against a very tough physical opponent. And uh, our guys, uh, when the game's over, will know that we've been in a dogfight, and we've got to find a way to come out on top. Coach, if you had to talk about it today, what is the some of the keys to this game? Well, the key in this game is we've got to uh, take care of the football on offense. We've got to find a way to create plays. Uh, we've got to move the pocket a little bit and find some ways to get some shots up the field. And defense, we've got to be sound. I think last year when we beat them, we were able to pick off two passes as they were going into score. We've got to get some more turnovers, which is going to be critical and crucial for us to win. And we've got to take away their running back. You know, he's the strength of their team. and. Uh, we got to do our very best job to make them feel uncomfortable and have to throw the football. Okay, Coach, see you next week on the Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner is being presented by Life Skills, the presenting sponsor of the 2016 WKU football season, by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics, by Pizza Hut, proud to support WKU Athletics, by UPS. Delivered by UPS. More information at ups.com backslash solvers. By Kentucky Legend Hams. One legend folks can rely on. By Taco Bell. Now serving breakfast starting at 7. And by Passport Health Plan. Proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart.